Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at a tool called Path Packer by NVIDIA. So, to use this tool, you can access it on Hugging Face. I will go ahead and upload an image of a 3D robot that I want to generate the path from. Here you can see some example images that they have here. We are going to try that out, but let's go ahead and try our own image. So, I have this image of this robot on a white background. After uploading the image, I'm just going to leave everything on the default setting. This is the first time I'm trying this out. So I wonder what it will come up with. I'll press generate. All right, so it's taking some few seconds to generate. Okay, I'm done generating, but I'm not really seeing any preview over here. Let me try and press this download button. Okay, the preview has showed up. Alright, so this is supposed to be in different parts. Well, so it, it has different colored materials. That means we can actually separate it by the texture. So let's open it up in Blender. Alright, so I've imported the model. Don't for this. I wonder what the topology is going to look like. Going to edit mode. Damn. <laughs> this is a lot. Maybe I was meant to click on that simplify mesh. But well, it's actually in different parts. That is awesome. Let me see if it separated the hands. Well, I believe it could actually do better. Let me see if those materials came in. Okay, can change the colors there. Let's try this with the simplify mesh option. So go here and click on simplify mesh and generate it. It is done. Go ahead and download this. I think the mesh still looks very dense. Let's see if this will be any better. They try to reduce the amount of polygons, but it looks like garbage. Well, but it actually did a nice work bringing out a base mesh. At least something like this, you can easily remesh it using all those quad remesher, even the back of the model. So let's go ahead and try the default images there. You can see a car here. Robot. Let me try this car. Simplify mesh. Generate. All right, error quota exceeded. It seems promising, but same as other AI 3D generating tools, it's not quite there yet. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is something that you will use? Do you think it's something you can use for your background assets? Leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.